Welcome to my new video. My name is Moro Ferrari. NFTs turn your digital assets into one of a kind by creating a unique digital signature, which defines the ownership of your assets and that can be bought and sold for real money, cryptocurrency, or any other asset, like a non-fungible token, aka NFT. Non-fungible tokens means that they are not interchangeable, and each of them represents unique assets owned by a specific person. On the other hand, fungible tokens are interchangeable and can be divided into smaller units to form the same value. For example, a $100 bill is fungible, as you can exchange it with five $20 bills or two $50 bills. But the painting of The Last Supper is non-fungible, as it cannot be generated in bulk. Even if it is copied, it will not be authentic. Each NFT contains distinguishable information like who owns the digital asset and who sold it, making them distinct and easily verifiable. As it is impossible to forge such a certificate, it will secure her painting's originality. After learning what NFT is, Susan was curious to know how exactly NFT works. NFT basically creates a blockchain-based digital certificate for your digital collectibles, including games, music, art, and many more. This certificate gives your artwork a unique identity. The underlying technology and the programming language used by NFTs are the same as other cryptocurrencies, such as blockchain and the programming language Ethash or Script. NFT majorly exists on Ethereum blockchain, a distributed public ledger that records all the transactions. However, NFT is quite different from these cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin and Ethereum are fungible tokens which means if you trade Bitcoin or Ethereum for one another, you will have the same value or item in return, basically money. On the other hand, NFT is a unique token. Therefore, if you try to trade it, you may end up with something completely different in your hands. CryptoPunks is a remarkable example of NFT. It enables you to buy, sell, and store 10,000 collectibles with the proof of ownership being stored on the Ethereum blockchain. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel.